first ever Idiot Fest, Harmontown is now in session. Spencer Critton into the stage, everybody. Spencer! And the mayor of Harmontown, you know him, you love him, Mr. Dan Harmon. I'm not supposed to, I, I shouldn't be offended that these seats are empty, right? Those are famous people's seats. It's just other famous people don't like me. That's the, that's the Harmon guarantee. That's fine. Those were empty for the other people, right? Like, no, no that was full. Okay. Wait, did Portlandia fill these seats or were those empty too? They were all full, weren't they? They were full. You know why? Because crooked Fred Armisen makes promises to other famous people that I don't make. I'm an outsider. Uh, a lot of those people, though, were paid by Fred Armisen absolutely. to be here. They were, they were paid seat fillers. Crooked fil Fred Armisen and crazy Carrie Brownstein. Uh, you should, uh, if you like her, you should hate him. If you like him, you should hate her, etc. Comey's a leaker. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and I drained the swamp. It's the, the, the swamp is empty up here. Uh, but thank you for coming. It's a nice sound. Uh, it's a hot day. You're walking around. You come into a tent. What could be funnier? Uh, comedy works with high ceilings outdoors. Th th like, 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 you, you took a big chance, and I want to make it pay off for you. And, and I, it's amazing. That this is the first year this festival's going on, right? Like Chris Hardwick uh, is trying a, a new thing. He's a good guy. I, I, I. I you, you, you guys all know this. You're probably Chris Hardwick fans. Like, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's got that amount of niceness that brings out the badness in you. Like, when you're talking to him, you just, he makes you wonder what you could do to make him mad. Or, like, 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 like what if I ate a baby? Would you, would you frown? Would that make you upset? Like, evil, e evil people have that technique. Like, you know that you've been in intoxicated with evil when you're, like... You're, you start coming up with hypotheticals, like you tell people, like, like, what if, like, what if I ate a baby? That's the only, that's the only one I have. Um, uh, so, anyways, Dan, because we're in an outdoor tent right now, your hair is kind of blowing in an awesome Stevie Nicks kind of uh, oh, cool. rock and roll fashion right now. Ow! I'm trying to think of a Stevie Nicks. Uh, uh, you could tell from one syllable I was trying to do Stevie Nicks. Ow! And then I gave up. Ow! Wanna be Stevie Nicks? Can't do it. Can't do it no matter how you try. I, 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 I kind of got good at Roger Waters last night because I was trying to wa I, I watched the wall with, uh, with Cody in the hotel room because there's uh, not a lot of places to eat out here. And uh, I, I just, we just stayed in the hotel room and tried to, find, uh, tried to find the wall. Pink Floyd's the wall. You millennials, you don't know what the, maybe that is. Like, something like that. Okay. All right. I misjudged you. But it's hard to find the wall. It's like there's something happened. I think if you oh, by the way, how are you, Spencer? I'm good. Okay. Spencer Crittenden, everybody. He came out here. Uh, you're too kind. But do you guys think? Do you guys think Roger Waters, who like it's like the mastermind behind the wall? So remember, like the wall that came out, and then you're like, when I was a kid, it was like, yeah, the wall. It's like education, and then. And then when the wall, the Berlin Wall was coming down, he did that big concert and it was like, it's relevant again. And then Cody, Cody was saying like, cause he just did a concert again. Cause now Trump is like saying build a wall. And then now he's doing, he's got a new album and Cody's saying, no, you know, Roger Waters is stoked about Trump. <laughs> I think that he's just like, time to get back out there. Yeah. Ah, the smell of grease paint. Ah, the limelight. Cha -ching. <laughs> All right. Take that, Roger Waters. Wait, Dan, but you, you started off by saying that you are doing a pretty good Roger Waters impression these days. Uh, well, now I feel, because the acoustics in here probably won't sound like a good impression to you. Uh, but I, I was thinking it would be funny if that, that song, uh, you know, that starts with, I, I got a little black book, my poems in, got a bag got a toothbrush and a comb, that if the list just kept going and it wasn't relevant to anything, so did, that he was just like, I got six cowboy hats with ice cream inside two of them, and the third one has a frog with a screwdriver. 
So you're not going to do the impression for us? No. That's the thing. It's like I can't. No, you have to be in an elevator with me or very close with me in bed in order for the to sound like Roger Waters is a. He wasn't somebody that could have worked in like 1930s radio or at Woodstock or something. He's like a, he's an artist that's reliant on a certain uh, layered, um, high tech, high fidelity thing. Right. So don't fucking don't look at me like I'm less than talented. Blame God for the speed of sound and the laws of nature. There's a, there's a place in my shower, if I, if I get right into a corner in my shower, at a certain place, a certain distance from the corner of my shower, um, I can sound exactly like a cello. <laughs> it sounds exactly like a cello, but I can't do it anywhere else. It sounds like me humming like an asshole. Sp Spencer, do you ever sing in the shower? Uh, yeah, I sing in the shower. Do you sing anywhere else? Do you sing in the car? Or do you like sing? Yeah, I, I really let loose in my car. I, I, if, if there was a camera in my car, I'd be in prison, I think. <laughs> I just, I really, I just scream, like just scream onomatopoetic sounds. Just By the way, wh where the fuck are we? Where, where, I, 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 that's not an, uh, uh, to offend you guys. Like, I, I just, that's my own ignorance. Like, we get in a plane, we flew for an hour. We're in Mountain I, View, California. What is that? Where did we go? What, what, uh, are we, are, uh, it's, I, 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 Dan, I, I, it's where the white people live. <laughs> Hawaiian people? The white people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 that we went to a restaurant. Like, I, there's a weird contradiction here. I think because it's a college town, but it's also like a place where white, white people go to die and they, they, they or, or invent things that make everyone else live, which kills them. I'll tell you I, what they I, invented. They invented the iPhone 7, which I can't plug into the goddamn jack here. Well, there's a, yeah, because there's a weird, I, we, we, there's like a, there was like a, there's a strip mall near our hotel that's the size of fucking, like, Babylon, like it's a, which was famous for its size. I, 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 I'm just saying, like it's it's just endless, endless, and every single store is like some place where you can buy thousand dollar pants or a plate you can't eat off of, and uh, but then in between every third one is a restaurant, but it's like corn dogs. That's it. Like, it's like shitty restaurants where you order at the counter and there's like shit on the table and there's just like a 16 year old going, I wanna make you food. Like, what, what's with you people? Pick a lane. It, it you, sounds are like you, you're, Are you rich or do you, are, Dan, you, are you gonna kill yourselves? Dan, it sounds like you're describing a mall. You went into a mall. I guess I, guess I haven't been in a mall in a long time. I guess I, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that's not your fault, I'm not. Yeah, there's a mall in your town, and I blame you for it. I guess I, I guess I, yeah, like I'm, I, but, but I, 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 we went, we went into a place, I, I, the, and the, and the uh, young lady that was at the uh, hostess counter, uh, when we went in, she, uh, she said, now I, 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 I don't, if Roger Waters. The weird thing is, if this is a, if. She, if she in any way has a disability, then this is a terrible thing to do, is to imitate her voice. But I, I, but I say you roll those dice, Dan. It's, it's, but I, I don't, I, it, it would be in her head, so I guess, I guess the idea is you're never supposed to make fun of anybody or imitate them, because you might, but, and then, but then what? Then what do we do? Like, what if you found out Trump was disabled? Like, but, he is! He's a terrible... President. Did you, he did you even, hear the news? Oh, that, and then, what, like, what if they diagnosed that? And then you're like, every time you went, Comey's a leaker. And then, and then you're like, that's the equivalent of going, eh. Like, 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 like what are we supposed to do? It's, the answer is just be bad people. This is our invitation. There's a horrible man in the White House. You just be a troll now. You could just. So anyways, this, this bitch at this restaurant, fuck her. Here's how she talked. <laughs> uh, but I'm just saying, like, she was like, she, st she did this thing, it was like a Seinfeld low talker thing, we couldn't understand her, there's like this weird loud music playing, and she, she kept going like, and, and then we just leaned in and, and like, until those that one syllable became stuff, and the, like, when you, you leaned in enough, you zoomed in on the wavelengths, and so you could hear and enhance, uh, like, 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 we're kind of crowded, so you can sit, and you can order right away, but the kitchen's backed up, so the food might take long. That's every re what you can't just say that. That's, not, that's every re restaurant's disclaimer. 
you can't, that doesn't make any sense. We can't compare that to anything. I don't know how fast. By the way, we ordered the food and it came out right away. <laughs> so they're like the fastest restaurant in the world, but hey, listen, you should know there's something. And there was a picture on the wall of Steve Jobs. It was like a portrait, the famous portrait of Steve Jobs stroking his chin hairs, but he was flipping a middle finger. And I was like, to me? To, to, to society? What? I don't... Do you hate the guy? The guy, the waiter swiped my credit card on an iPhone. <laughs> like, like, but the, the thing was Steve Jobs flipping me the finger. Was that him trying to like outdo Einstein's picture of him sticking his tongue out? He's like, I'm gonna what does fucking, that even mean? I'm gonna I don't update even... this shit, motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't know. I know. Do, 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 I, and I'm not gonna say, do you love him or hate him? I'll get some weird biased opinion from 500 people in a tent. I, I don't who, who, maybe you all hate Steve Jobs because he didn't give you a kidney. I don't know. I'll never get the truth. Who made that art? Some guy that wanted clicks. And then some restaurant person hung it on a wall who has no sense of time, doesn't know when their restaurant's fast, put their niece in charge. Uh, we're slow today. Uh. Fuck your city. <laughs> I've seen all I can see. I know everything about your people. I pronounce you terrible. I, I've had a very... Wow. The, well, the only, well, well, now you seem interesting. The, the only negative experience I've had since I, I was here, as walking down University Street Avenue, whatever that is, where all the, the kind of bougie restaurants are, and I was walking down the road, like looking for a, a bar to have a, a, a drinking on a Sunday morning. And, uh, but it was all people having brunch and there were screaming kids, so I couldn't hang with that. And uh, then there was one bar that was too, like, bro -y, and it kind of smelled like last night's body odor, and I couldn't dig that. And I'm walking down the road, and there's this really good-looking young gal in tight jeans. And I, I look, okay, what, what's she going to stop me for? Like, she's, got, she's standing outside of a shop. And has anybody ever, ever experienced the makeup people that stand out there and fucking stop you? Anybody? Because uh, I, I, I met some of the people who have, they crossed the street around that place. And this really good-looking gal... So she goes, oh, you want a sample? You, you, you shave? You want, you want some aftershave lotion? It's really good. Yeah, just take that. I go, okay, cool, thank you. Hey, wait, 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 come here. Come here. I, I have something else that's really, really good. I'm like, okay. And uh, she goes, wait, hey, come inside. Like, I, I, I should, stuff like, like, what do you use for your skin? I'm like, I, 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 I got to go. I'm, I'm late. And she's like, no, come in. And she sits me down, and she puts some shit, like some collagen stuff. It cleans off my eye, like some foamy, like, cleanser, I presume. And... And she cleans my eye and she puts some shit on my face and then takes a, like a folder and starts fanning it and it feels like there's cement on my eyeball. <laughs> and then she only puts it on one eye and then she goes, okay, now put your hand over your eye. And she holds a mirror up to me to show me how, it's like, look at the bags under your other eye. Look how shitty this eye looks over here. <laughs> like, what, do you, you feel this one tightening up? Well, keep your hand there. Keep your hand on the one that's tightening up and being good. Do you feel how, like, look, look at how shit you look over here, you fucking. <laughs> You 43-year-old alcoholic, you look like shit over here. And then he goes, now, now take your hand off. You see, there was no fucking difference. <laughs> Except was... this side of my face felt like there was plaster on it. Right. And this side felt fine. Yeah. And I, I still look like I stayed up too late last night and had a million beers. Yeah, well, some people have had their health care taken away. <laughs> Anyways. This uh... fucking guy. High road, high road, do not take the low road, low road is off limits, high road, dance limits, that's what's going to be in this tent an hour from now. They have, the, they have the lights, they have the equipment, they are ready to go. What was uh, your, what? We are in the way of a fucking EDM revolution. These chairs are obstructionists. Uh, you, 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 you are going to be happy when I'm gone. That's my 44-year-old impression of whatever EDM is. Like, what? That's your prom night, you fucking old piece of shit. Can we, can we, do we have the capabilities, tech people back there, to, do, like, to, to get some EDM lights going from the EDM tent? Can, can we, we do uh, an EDM check? Let's just make sure it's ready. <laughs> like, do you have beats you can put on? No new taxes. Comey, Comey's a leaker. 
Someone's got a tambourine. It's like a tribal <laughs> thing in here now. <laughs> you brought a fucking tambourine to the show. Oh, it's got lights on it. Wow. Oh, it's like a, wow. it's like an X, it's like an MDMA tambourine. It's like got blinking lights on it. And the people that, around him are like, please kill yourself. <laughs> The people around him are gonna kill themselves at his cult meeting six months from now. Fantastic. He's a charismatic, tambourine, glowing tambourine guy. Um, be honest, are you on Molly or anything right now? A little bit? Tiny bit? Are you coming down off last night? All right. Are you crisscrossing with Molly and something else? <laughs> <laughs> the tambourine doesn't lie. Who's, who's on something that it would make them freak out if I started talking directly to them? <laughs> Hands went up and like, I, I'm on something, but do, don't want to discuss it on stage with you're you. You're doing what I do when you're high. You just covered your mouth. You're like, who here right now is holding felonious amounts of Class A narcotics? <laughs> and would like to come up and discuss that with us in front of the police? <laughs> No, we don't want anybody up here. They're ter- they're, 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 look at that. There's a microphone in the middle. They can, they can ask their... Uh, I, they're drawing season three. Have you ever done Hermantown? Oh. Oh. In fact, by now, they're done drawing it. It's sitting in a vault. It's, 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 it's Guys, ready, it's ready to go. he keeps saying that. I've been to the studio. There's, they're just doing nothing over there. Yeah, there's no one yes, drawing Yes, because it. they're drawing they, it. They don't give a shit about the show. They don't care about you. <laughs> That's true, because they're drawing it. We, we cared a long time ago. I feel like I can't. I, I go out and I Instagram me getting my mail, and there's a spider in my mailbox, and I'm like, that spider's scary, and 15 uh, dudes are like, are like, yeah, this is what you're doing? Make Rick and Morty. And I'm like, I... I, 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 I go to the studio, and there's a big dry... There's a giant dry erase board, and it's just pictures of tits and dicks and balls. That's what they're drawing over at Starburns Industries. The, the people that are responsible for it taking this long finished working on it a long time ago. That's the beauty of being slow, shitty people that in the hand their work off to talented, fast people. They're, they're behind schedule, but, it's, but I can't do anything about Which country it. did you send it off to to have draw, uh, animated and drawn? Canada. A little, a little sweatshop called Canada. Boo, indeed, Boo. my... My, You're outsourcing jobs <laughs> by American. That disgusting troll, Justin Trudeau. What a grody autocrat. Leaping out of caves, uh, uh, taking selfies with tourists. Sexy, gross monster. Just want to cuddle him to death. Brown and uh, roll around with him in a big pool of syrup. Maple, maple syrup. Is that what they make up there? Maple syrup? I'm gonna make maple syrup up there. Because I'm a boot to come. That shouldn't get that big a reaction, but that's no. also, that's whatever no. you, whatever makes you give that big a reaction they is were fine, just, but. They were just happy that that bit was com- had come to a close. Well, yeah, they were like, okay, we recognize that you're doing comedy, good. <laughs> that's, it's like a, giving a cat peanut butter if it just kind of does something. Hey, uh, tech guy uh, out there with the, with the light panel, in, in, when, uh, or gal, who is it? Who's doing the lights back there? What's your name? Uh, I'm nine, non-binary, and my name is... Nothing, sorry, sorry. I just, I just thought it'd be funny. Oh. It was like a tech, te- a tech guy or tech lady, and then you like high wrote that, and you're like, um, it's Stellar. What's your name? Carter. Carter, Carter if Dan had ever tells a joke that totally bombs, just go right into EDM lights. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not like, telling that'll the, jokes. That'll be the signal that you guys are supposed to laugh, and, <laughs> and this, this show is no Portlandia. But wait, what if, I, what, if I, what if I say something that works? Can't I get a celebration for that? Okay, Carter, we'll leave it to you. If you want to celebrate it when something really good happens, or if you want to be ironic when, when there's a real turd, or if I say hit it, that too. That's another. So keep your eyes peeled for all that. Let's just test it right now. Hit it. Whip, whip. All right, that was good. That was it. That was just a test. That was only oh, a okay, test. Okay, okay. Okay, all right. That was all, but I like. You're, you're ready to go. Yeah, I almost finished the word wicked. That's how <laughs> I was getting into it. 
but, but I was getting tired, so it's good you, you stopped. <laughs> I'm gonna be catching my breath for the next few measures. Um, yeah, so it's, uh... It's but you're already out of breath from that four second of dancing. That's what I just said. You can't shoot me through a hole I shot! It's called self-deprecation. It makes me invincible. Everyone on the internet with the fucking I'll hit you where you just hit yourself. I hit myself there! I said I'm fat! I said it already! I'm not fat anymore! You can't make me fat! I said I'm fat! <laughs> it's just a big crowd of fat people over there. It's a, a, a bus from a camp that they... <laughs> Let's go see our hero! And then and that now... Oh, I fucked that up! <sighs> Mountain View. So you, most of you guys are... And ladies and, 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 and anything are... Uh, you're going to... You're, are you students? Is it a, it's a college town, right? No? Okay, so it's like, let me keep walking through guesses. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Woodstock. There's nothing normally here, but we all decided to come here. Okay. Got it. I don't know what my third guess was. Uh, it's a weird eyes wide Dutch sh shut cult. cult uh, I can't speak. Okay. Fidelio. Fidelio, but the eye is a one. You have to watch the movie. That's the password that Tom Cruise uses to get into the sex party. Do you guys think that Hollywood is controlled by an elite uh, cabal of pedophiles? Because there was an article where Nicole Kidman said that Stanley Kubrick told her that was the case, and then she, like, now she's catching some flack for that. Like, there was recently a big thing about, like, British pedophiles up in high, high government. That was a real thing, and we kind of, like, yeah, that was a weird thing. Where yeah, they, and you'd expect if pedophiles controlled the world, that story wouldn't be huge, and it wasn't. So you're a believer. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams? No, no, I think it, I, I am, I think it could be real. It's really crazy, but it's weird to talk about it without seeming insane. It's, a, it's a, the reason you can't talk about it is because you'll either be a target of a secret, secret cabal right. of pedophiles, or in your enthusiasm for explaining to people that it's possible, you'll come off like a pedophile. Because <laughs> you'll be like, think about it. If you were rich, you'd fuck kids. You, it's the first thing you do. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Pedophilia. It's the, it's the, it's the Maserati of sex. Hey, go to heck when you want to fuck a kid. Go to get your neck. Eat out a 12 year old like a, a Ferrari going all the way. I want a yacht, but I don't want anyone over 13 today. <laughs> that one took a lot out of me, <laughs> aerobically I, and spiritually. I, I, I think we all oh. lost a little part of ourselves in that one. That was rough. I, I lost two pounds and gained a horn. <laughs> I'm gonna die and God will be fine with it. I'm out of breath. I gotta get back on the elliptical. Yeah. I was so proud of myself. I heard them cheering and I was like kicking. <sighs> and then my stomach was like, what do you mean? You like, like, <sighs> you, you gotta stop. <sighs> I gotta fuck more kids. Police never fucked a kid That's wrong every time they shoot they fucked a kid When the bullets come out you know what they did Black to the white gonna fuck a truck A truck A twelve year old in Trump Tower That's the meaning of power When you fuck a kid you don't know what you did That's only rhymes with I put on a bib with a little kid on it Time to fuck a kid <laughs> The applause is getting less enthusiastic as the... No, 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 no. No, no I, 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 think, I think because... I wasn't, in, I, wasn't solicit, I wasn't telling you to pump it up. I was I'm standing next to you saying, we all feel that we don't want this to be a runner. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I disagree. Your natural behavior is right and Dan, good. Dan, that, that, I think that diminished applause, though, that slightly less applause, was kind of the, the feeling that that was act two. That, that was the Empire Strikes Back of right. a trilogy. Where, where, 
the, the payoff will be in Act 3 of your child's pedophilia well, sex. Well, I, I got to tell you, in most pedophile-driven stories, Act 3 is not that satisfying. <laughs> it's either someone escapes from a garage or it's told from the other side. <sighs> Dear Idiot Fest, <laughs> here's why our sponsorship is being revoked. Signed, Microsoft, <laughs> Pentium, Google, Monster Energy, and of course, Red Bull. Uh, are all those stormtroopers walking around, are, are they all cosplayers? Those, those aren't... Some of them are real stormtroopers. Because <laughs> I walked out and the first thing I saw was like 14 stormtroopers. Are they, are they like the, the waiters? Like they, 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 they look like... Pardon? Oh, no, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a union, like a, like a fake union. And it's like fun. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. I, I like, it's like Civil War reenactors. Like, uh, that, like uh, we put them in that drawer in, t in terms of, of sexual probability. <laughs> I, I know that sounds like a bully thing you say. Like, it's the old joke. Oh, they're else? not going to get laid because they're nerds. Whatever. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm out. What else can we rate in terms of sexual probability? Uh... <laughs> uh Chances of raining men, uh, 20%, partly cloudy. Um, anyways, that would, be a fun, that would be a smart thing for Trump to do, would be to just, because it's, a, he could just pretend to be a Star Wars fan, and then he'd have like this street cred with nerds, and then he'd, he'd start dressing cops like stormtroopers, and then you could just like, you could really beat down the people that would be the first to resist. Like, it was a, you could like target high IQ people and like take their asthma inhalers away and like step on their faces. And then if, and if anyone had a problem with it, Trump would be like, I don't get why these people are such haters about Star Wars. <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to the movies. I enjoy it. Give me a lot of pleasure. You know, and it, you'd, have, you'd have people behind you more. <sighs> because he's really hurting. He's not gonna do fine at all. We're all gonna die. We're all in the midst of dying. It's permission to have fun. If you're 25, I'm sorry. Sorry about the burning husk filled with water. Good luck growing gills and figuring out a way to express yourself in coal. <laughs> dust on the hammered flat surface of, that used to be a radiator in your fucking weird horn cave <laughs> drilled into the side of a ruined skyscraper by a robot pterodactyl <laughs> powered by coal. <laughs> My vision. Fuck you, Alan Moore. I have a vision too. <laughs> Anyone can do this. It doesn't just have to be zeppelins if it's a dystopia. Maybe it's robot pterodactyls. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, let's, get, let's get on with the show. I say so, yeah. Let's stop delaying things. That was all the cold open. <sighs> Idiot, yeah. But one of the eyes is a one, but you don't know which one. I don't know. And you try to Google it, you write an idiot fest and it, it, nothing comes up. You gotta put the 10 in there and it's all mm, fucked up. Maybe it's genius, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. He's Hardwick. Where Hardwick says to go, I go. I go where Hardwick tells me to go. You know, idiot like that is like in, in Apple stores, when, when the customer is an idiot, you might say they're having an ID10T error and it's a code name for they're an idiot. <laughs> you don't have to clap. It's just relevant, right? Uh, how is that a clever code? It looks, oh, you say ID 10. So, so it's if you say it in front of the customer, they don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was in the back of a squad car once, and the cop said to another cop, uh, yeah, I got a DFW. And I said, drunk fucking, or wait, what was it? Like, God damn it. It was a D, DFI. I think it was a drunk fucking idiot. And the cop was like, what? 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 Like, like, it was like, yeah, I cracked your code. You're not going to use code. <laughs> It was like three letters that was, I was just like, yeah, what I, I know what I am, like, and you're not going to offend me, like, what do you, what, what happens now, like, like, I change squad cars, quit wasting taxpayer money, take me home, I'm drunk. Were you being arrested? 
got, no, because I'm the fucking Teflon drunk, man. I was like, I saw the cop. I pulled over, got out of the car. He came roaring up. What were you doing? Not driving. <laughs> That's what counts. And he said, oh, yeah, where are you going? I said, to a friend's. Or I said, I'm coming from a friend's. And he said, what, who, who, what's your friend? I said, Carl? <laughs> and he's like, where's Carl live? I said, I don't know, I'm drunk. <laughs> Can't remember where Carl lives. I just know I wasn't driving and I walked. He said, what if I said I saw you driving? I'd say, I don't know, I'm drunk. I, I, I just came from Carl's. And he said, what if I went up to every one of these houses and knocked on it and asked for Carl? I'd say, at that point, who's winning? <laughs> And he put me in the car and then made me wait forever. And another cop came up and said, what do you got? A couple DFIs. And I said, I know, I'm still drunk, still smarter than all of you. <laughs> like, it's not that big a deal. I respect, I respect you because you can shoot people. <laughs> not because you're smart. Drive me home. <sighs> I'm sorry, I took this into an ugly place. This yeah, is, we, 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 took a, we took a kind of a sad turn from pedophilia into that dark <laughs> realm. Remember Sorry. the good old days of pedophile jokes, you guys? Now there's a kid, there's a kid there, there's a kid, I can see there's kids everywhere. I got, I got that born identity kid vision. Why is that, Dan? Because I protect them. Why do I know where every exit and child is? Uh, this better not translate to any online medium. <laughs> it's just, it's all about context these days. It's, it's 442, I feel like we should maybe, do we? Should we? Up to you, baby. Kind of, um, let me crunch some numbers for a second. I'm kind of famous for it, for, for my math skills. That's like the 50 minute to go, Mark. 50? 50. Oh. No, oh. 40. No, okay, let's so hash all this out. 50. Well, let's let's maybe let's meet let's meet one person from the area. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how you get them. What are you doing? You're running up to the well, microphone. Well, yeah. What oh, okay. Get. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's meet you. All right. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is great. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look. Don't look behind you, sir. Oh, they already. Vote. <laughs> do not look behind you. Whatever you do, do not turn around. <laughs> Wait, what is going on? What is this, the DMV? What, is, what the fuck is going on? All right. speed, speed round. Uh, yeah, well, okay. I, did, I mean, fine. Let's All right, what, 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 what is your name? My name's Chewy. Okay. Chewy? Welcome, Chewy. So, uh, first off, I want to say that Abed was the first character I've ever seen in anything that connected directly to me. All right. And awesome. no one will ever shut down the Delta Cubes. All right. Oh, nice. Wow, oh, man. <laughs> the Delta Cubes. Uh, so, Deep Vision and Jack was one of my favorite shows, and I only saw one episode of it. I was wondering if you feel like the timing, the cultural timing was what made that not work versus other things you're doing now, or if there's some other... Uh, Heat Vision and Jack, I don't think it was cultural time. I, well, I guess maybe cultural. If you, if, yeah, I, it was... Uh, uh, their, their, the audiences weren't fragmented enough that one million people wanting to watch something meant cha-ching yet, which it now does. I mean, and I think a million people would have liked to watch Heat Vision and Jack because it asked the question, what is television? But back then it was like, I think you need 20 million people to want to watch something before somebody wants to make something. It was a show, it was about Jack Black on a talking motorcycle, it was great. It was, a, it, was a, it was a pilot, and they didn't pick it up. They, they thought it would be expensive, and, they, and it would be, and it was like, there were things before that, you're just a baby. They, they, <laughs> uh, sledgehammer, I'll say these words to so you, Google them. Look well, uh, 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 Naked Gun, or what was the, Police Squad, what was the, like, there's shows that kind of like, skew absurdity and stuff, and then it's like, oh, could I watch this, or is this a sketch? And I think it was just that, and these days you could put something like Vision and Jack on sci-fi, maybe? Too long an answer. Thank you, Chewy. Thanks. Let's hear for Chewy, Chewy, everybody. Yeah. I didn't know we were right. doing a Q&A. It's great, it's, though. Here we oh, go. Oh, shit. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's craft punk, actually. It's, 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 it's what? What? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's from the Eric Andre show. It's called uh, Craft Punk. You okay. like? I, can, I, I think you can hear yourself in, in, in there. It's called uh, Craft Punk. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like, you know, Daft Punk, but Got like, it. throw cheese at people and 
feel like that. Good. Um, but um, I, um, well, first off, I want to dance with you. If we can do a dance off, that'd be cool. But okay. But well, um, what do you got? applause you've ever gotten. He wins! Dan is doing push-ups. He, he, Dan, he did the worm, not push-ups. He was doing the worm, I think. I was kind of just like humping the ground, kind of. Try to do the worm, Herman. It's <laughs> huh. like he's taking a little, taking a little nap. <laughs> All right, Dan, let it go. Let it go. Thank you very much. Uh, thank thank you. you, whatever your name was. It doesn't matter. Call you Carl. Hello, sir. What's your name? His second question was about world hunger. <laughs> Hi, I'm John, and I was wondering this is a question for all three of you. What guest at Harmon Quest would you ever want to join? Uh, who, who would be our favorite guest to have on Harmon Quest? Yeah, that hasn't appeared yet. Chris Hardwick! Woo! Yeah, there you go. He asked, were we, were, were we talking about getting Dwayne The Rock Johnson on? Well, yeah. I was Dwayne yeah. The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Famous yeah. people are great. They don't come to my show, but they're great. Yes, so old timey root beer spokesmodel. <laughs> <laughs> so having seen um, Harmon Quest, I know there's a lot of uh, chaos to your creative process. How much do you feel that fan theories influence where Rick and Morty goes, because some of those fan theories are really sophisticated, and you may, might not have meant them, but I bet you could run with them. Well, I'm sure fan theories are just as good, if not better, of anything that we would come up with in a writer's room, but we don't, I don't personally go to those forums since community, because I don't want to be... Influenced? It's, it's sci-fi, so it's like higher stakes to let yourself be influenced by a theory, you know what I mean? And also, Tell you the truth, I hope this doesn't spoil anything, but I don't think Rick and Morty isn't, does, there's not going to be an underlying fucking, like, I don't know. We have conversations in the room, and then once canon's canon, but I, we just, I, I just, I'm not a person that would ever be like, okay, from the beginning of the series, I've always got this thing that inside the back, behind his ear, if you look real close, there's an egg, and the, the egg means <laughs> the whole show's a lie. Like, I, I don't, it's, he's an old drunk guy that's smarter than everyone, and he, for some reason, he's incredibly selfish and wants to... I mean, we'll figure it out as we go. So I, 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 but, but, but I have Thank seen, you. like, I did have, like, I've had, like, when we sat down and started writing the show, I was like, well, should we have one of those, just in case? And Mike McMahon, one of the writers, was like, how about this one? I was like, holy shit, that's amazing, let's do that. And then two years later, I could see people were like, what if this? And I was like, fuck that, no. <laughs> no, like, if you can sit and shouldn't do that like audiences are a render farm of ideas they have nothing to do but sit there and think like so if your show is payoff based you're fucking yourself i think but i'm just an old fat man said that just stop staring at me like that <laughs> all right thank you we, we have time for a couple more thank we can't you. we can't do everybody because we have, we have some business to attend to uh when you guys you guys do festivals do you stick around and uh watch bands, or do you go straight to the hotel room for Minecraft? That's it's, fun, it's funny you should ask that, sir. Because last night... Because last night, the saddest text message in the world came from Jeff, who, to all of us, because he went to Weezer, and, it, and Spencer stayed at the hotel and played Minecraft, and at yeah. one point, Jeff sent us video and then said, have fun playing Minecraft. And it was sad. Yeah, because so, Steve Levy, if, you, if you, you know Steve, he'll probably come up here in a little bit. Um, we went down to see uh, OK Go, and the people here at the festival gave us nice tickets like out in the, uh, in the main uh, amphitheater. And we saw that, and we came backstage and like, had a drink, you know, and like, you know, Dimitri Martin's hanging out back there in Hardwick. And, and we walk back out, and to get back to our seats, we have to walk by the front row. And we walk by, and the security guard that is in front of the photograph pit, like right in the front, uh, happened to be a Whose Line Is It Anyway fan. He's like, oh man, Jeff! He's like a stoner dude. He's super cool. And, uh, and, uh, and he goes, oh, I'm a big fan, man. I said, cool, can, I, can we come in the photo pit? And he's like, yeah. So we just watched the first three songs of Weezer right in the front, and we just took a bunch of photos and sent it to these assholes who were at home in the hotel playing Minecraft. Well, wait. 
I mean, that's a cool story, but how can that match? Like, I was in the overworld, and I went through an obsidian portal where there happened to be ghasts flying around and lava rocks everywhere, and I didn't know where I was going, but then I found a blaze and have shot a fireball? I mean, you didn't get a fireball shot at you. No, I didn't. Oh my God, you guys, millions have been deprived of their health care. <laughs> Hit it. The High Road dance, everybody. Whoop. Let's give it up for MC High Road. When you take a low road, you won't get far. Take the high road. Tell people where you are. Oh, ho, ho. Say, I'm bisexual. You hurt me in your contextual argument. Because this is who I am. Took the high road to the peanut butter and jam of the real conversation. I fucked your mama all across the nation. Oh, ho, 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 I didn't mean that bisexual people take the high road. That was a weird... I didn't... That, I, that was just... What did you words. mean, Dan? What did you mean? I don't know. I was rapping. And then... So MC High Road just immediately starts fucking your mother? That's the high road to you? <laughs> no, I think MC High Road is like... Has, a, has an ironic <laughs> compulsion for the low road. It's like, how old was old Dirty Bastard? We don't know. I mean, he was older than Wu-Tang, but... We, all right. <laughs> all right. Dan... If you're gonna fuck any mothers tonight, will you mind uh, fucking my mama? Oh. Sir, I would be honored. <laughs> All right, we'll take one more question, then we're gonna play some D&D. <laughs> I just wanna say, I listen to your guys' podcast every day that it, you know, it comes on, and I actually wanted to talk to Spencer and ask if you've seen the street that is your last name that's like really close. Uh, maybe not this exact one, or maybe, yeah, because I've driven around Northern California a fair amount, but I've seen a ton of streets, not even on purpose. I just drive by streets that are Crittenden. So, Perfect. it happens. <laughs> There's way too many of them. It's weird. Well, it's here, and it made me think. So. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll check it out. All right, thank you very much. Uh-oh, we have, Mr. Meeseeks is here, I think, everybody. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> really... <laughs> really alarming. Yeah. That is, that is for, the, for the podcast listener. A lot of people. Um, I, there's oh, going to be a lot shit. of nightmares. Oh, no. There's more oh, Mr. No. So, oh, no. I know. I know. I sold it myself. It's my first time. <laughs> However, I do have one question. Uh, I, I, have, I have several questions for you. <laughs> but go ahead. I mean, I serve you. If you have a question, no, you no, can no, I, I was No, I was, no. I was just making a, a, a terrible okay. joke. Go ahead, please. Well, I mean, if you tell a Meeseek that you have a question, he's not gonna, he's gonna stop Existence things. is pain, what do you want? No. Okay. I just wanna, just this is, you know, we didn't press the button. You're going, you're barking up the wrong tree, dog. This is bad nerdery. Well, his task, if someone might have pressed a button and said, go out and learn everything about stuff. Mm. But we don't know. It All could right. be one of those Meeseeks. So I just wanna know, even though Jerry has been divorced and whatnot, season three, some of us are still left around. We need to know if his short game is going to get any better. Uh, see, he had an is he going to be there? Already is he going to get a better short game? He's, are you th- saying you're more of a stickler me seek than the? Uh, I am a very stickler me seek. I wasn't even in the scene. But I mean, I, I, I yeah, no, I think eventually he yeah. could become a perfect. This is this is follow through me seek. <laughs> follow through me seek. Yeah, no, I think he'll eventually become better. But while he but learns. Go dip your Meeseek feet in a river. You know? Like, do, like, awakening stuff. I don't know how much long I can exist like this. You better be Tiger Woods five years ago tomorrow. It's a, it's a circular conversation at this point. I'm just saying, like, okay. I can't control it. I mean, you're not going to make me disappear anyway, so thanks for helping. All right. Well, goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Meeseek. <laughs> I want to... I have... I want to know what's in that fanny pack so bad. Most VC conversations are, are, are co- co- costumes have like bigger head, like they make the bigger head, like yeah. the padding. It's like, it's like a weird, to make it, to let it be regular sized head is like John Wayne Gacy's pointy clown makeup. It's like just a subtle but fundamental choice to have a me seek with like a tiny head. And then like, okay. Uh, all right, but, well. 
uh, the opposite of Tiny Heads, uh, one of the biggest brains in the world. Let's bring up Steve Levy to the stage, everybody. Steve Levy. Hey. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? What's up, man? Hi. We had a pretty good night last night, didn't we? We had a great night, yeah. yeah we totally partied down. Yeah. Yeah. We... It was wonderful. Lots of good music. Yeah. A lot of good times. Yeah. A lot of memories. Memories that we'll have for the rest of our lives, too. It, it was a nice, harmonless night. It's fine. I don't care. I, I watched The Wall with my girlfriend. I had a yeah. great time. Okay. I don't get jealous of people anymore. I don't care. I have a perfect life. You seem pretty mad about your restaurant experience today. It's a bad restaurant. I, I don't understand. They, didn't, they also didn't have salt on the table. I don't like restaurants that don't put salt on the table. I feel judged by them. Like, I have low blood pressure, so judge someone else. Like, I, if you serve hash browns at your restaurant and you don't put salt on the table, I, what you're saying to me is, uh, wait, it gets better. <laughs> Nothing makes you question what you're currently saying, like the vision of someone just walking out. You're like, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> it doesn't matter. They might have diarrhea. They're not trying to send that signal, but it makes you really think twice. I think everyone... But should... they, walk, they walked out on a pair. Do you think they both have diarrhea? <laughs> everyone who's ever talking should always have to have an image of someone walking out of a tent uh, while they're talking. It'll keep you on your toes. All right, so we're gonna play our second round of our new campaign of Pathfinder, everybody. Yeah. Now, Levy, you weren't, you weren't with us for the, first, uh, for, the, for the pilot episode. I was not, but I certainly listened to it. Yeah, we didn't get a lot done. Uh, did anybody here hear, the, hear, hear last week's D&D? Uh, &D? All right, not that many. So Spencer, you're gonna to have to catch us up. It, we, not a lot happened, so you're kind of coming in pretty fresh. Like, like you, you'll be easily caught up on this. Right. Spencer, do you want to lay on the intro for us? What, huh? You want to give us the intro? Uh, sure, yeah, I, yeah. Do you have character sheets for us? Uh, sure, yeah. All right, I'll come grab those. I think that, you know, one thing that's gonna, gonna be tough, because we're gonna have to, like, make sure we hear each other. It's a tent. So we're, we're doing stuff that's going into canon, you yeah, know? Uh, Rob or Carter, was it? Is, it? is there a way to get a little, little bit more of our mics in the monitor so we can get a, hear a, each other a bit more? Check, check, check. One, two, two. There we go. Oh, yeah. D Dan, talk. What if that results in feedback? You know, they, they write a Just line back don't there. Don't point your mic at the monitor. You, you've never been in a rock band? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just looking for my character sheet. It's fine. Who not cares? We're not doing anything. A lot all of right, people care. Spencer, I'm going to give you the intro music and you're going to lay it on us, all right? What? He can't okay. hear you. No, it's great. All right. You guys, last time, a town was in peril and they dispatched the church. That is to say, you guys, to help solve the problem. Upon seeing a house, you immediately demand an entrance, pushed past the homeowners, and went upstairs to accost a child. Bedridden, you attacked the child and punched him in the face. Luckily, it turned out he was possessed by a demon, so it wasn't like entirely terrible, but it was bad news and a ghost came out. Oh boy, the demon attacked and you guys didn't know what was going on and so you told the mom to make some bad soup like Adam's family. And then you left and then it was over. That's all. We're caught up. Okay. Uh, the most important thing that I don't have is my list of spells. Yep. <laughs> I feel like you, you, you like it that I'm not prepared. Yeah, it's great. I'm really digging this. Can't you, can't you, go, on our, can't you go on our Slack, Dan, and find your spells? They're on there, aren't they? I don't know if I have a list of my spells on the Slack. No, uh, player's good. handbook, oh, but it doesn't. Thank you, sir. I, 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 I'll try. You know, I mean, the other thing is that going on to Slack will require me to 
shut off my iPad and turn it back on so I can get on the AT&T fucking network and interesting how about if i just <laughs> spend this adventure eating shit and well you, yeah you could not cast spells or you could cast healing spells it'll be great let's Fine. worry about it um so where are you guys you guys you just left a house um and the uh, diarrhea junior is there hey guys hey dj how's it going Good. I I finally caught up with you after yeah. you left me in the last village to clean up that mess you made. Yeah. Well, you know, we had the wagon and the horses, and you know, and six o'clock means six o'clock. You were late, and so we uh, we left without you. All right. Well, I'm here now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what did I miss? We. <laughs> well, uh, Carlos punched a child that was in bed. And uh, a ghost came out, but we didn't know how to get rid of the demon ghost, so we left. And we're going to go investigate these burned-out ruins over here, we think. Okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, do you have any spells that you think could get a demon out of a, out of a child? I'm just a fighter. Okay, forget it then. All right, so, uh, so we're pretending that we knew you before we started the last one, or what did we... You've known me. Yeah. yeah. You took it? me under your wing. This is kind of unceremonious. This is like reunion. I don't. He Who wasn't. Was he, he was just late. He, he he didn't make the wagon time in time. He was back taking care of another thing, and you and I went ahead. You don't you remember? You exclaimed, "My work here is done!" And then everything was on fire, and I had to stay behind and just put out the fires. And, oh. and you left. So you're kind of like an assistant to me. I, whatever you won't think. All right. Yeah. Hey, DJ, you're not his assistant. You're, you're, you're a priest of the silver flame, just like he is, just like I am. Don't let him, don't let him talk to you like that. I, I appreciate him. He, he can say what he wants, you know? I feel like he's walking all over you. Okay. I don't. Well, let's go check out those ruins that were across the, uh, from the street from the uh, kid that I punched. You walk over there and you see the charred, burnt ruins of what looks like it was a barn and then a house. There's only kind of the skeletal structure of blackened buildings. I investigate the blackened chards. Oh man, it looks like it was a recent fire. There's ashes everywhere. Do either of you have any magical ability to kind of find important things while my iPad boots? Uh, I t take out my magnifying lens. Oh, shit. And examine the charring wood. Examining the char wood, you see that the floorboards don't line up perfectly. Hidden among the ashes and the dust, there seems to be the outline of some sort of trap door or something. It looks like there's a trap door. Nicely done, Squire. Thank you. Let's examine it. Can I it's do like a trap door? I I pick up like a like a chunk of like burnt wood and throw it at the trap door to see if it springs any mechanism. Uh, no, it doesn't. It just lands. It's it kind of it hits as if it's like a little hollow underneath it, but otherwise it just lands. All right, I, I go up to it and I wipe off some of the charred dust ash away from it and, and try to lift up the door. All right, you do that. Inside, you see two charred corpses. Ah! Appropriate. <laughs> I investigate them to see if there's any identifying, like, clothing or marks or anything like that. Uh, not really. They seem really heavily burned, as if uh, they perished in the blaze. Do they look like? Do they look like humans? Like humans? Oh yeah, like? they look like humans. Sorry. This is really upsetting to me. So I take out my foldable shovel and start digging graves for them. Okay, you do that. It takes a long time. I just examine the corpses more. Like, what are they? Were they wearing clothes? Are the clothes gone? Their clothes are like kind of. Uh, you only see the barest remnants of it, but it seems like heavy, heavy-duty clothes, like blue-collar clothing. Can we can we tell if one is female and one is male? Because this might be James and his wife that they said burned the house down and left. You can't really tell. The skeletons are too deformed by fire. Is there anything else down there that, that is worth looking at? I, I, I check out the rest of the trap area. No, it just looks like the bodies are just kind of stowed underneath the house. Ah, so it's, 
I think somebody burned down this house and hid the corpses down here. Whoa. Wait, you think somebody burned down the house and then went back into the burned down house and... <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Or, well, I mean, well, you, or, uh, you... Another theory would be that, they, that, that someone came here to, to bully these people and they hid themselves in a place where they could be hidden and then because the people couldn't find them, they simply burnt down the house and these people died with the fire. Whoa. That's a possibility. Or they wanted to die together and they lit the house on fire and then locked the door and they just hugged and burned to death. Diarrhea Jr., don't you have some kind of looking glass that you were using? Oh, yeah. Can you check their privates? Because they... Whoa! Whoa. We're being told that we can't tell if it was a man and a woman, but I just feel like, I'd, can you look closer? I'll do my best. Can't you see like, like the size of the pelvis or something like that? You I know? take like, out my magnifying lens and start to examine their groin areas. They're all burnt up. It's all fucking burnt to death. It's all fucking burnt to death. You know, you guys, I'm Chad the fire liker, but I don't like, any, I, I don't like this at all. I'm not Chad the, the burnt corpse liker. I move the corpses. Where do you move them? Out of the hole. You do that! I was... Uh, okay. Is there anything beneath them? No, it just kind of looks like it was underneath the floorboards, and then they kind of just put a new plank in there to make it look like it wasn't. It seems like you guys didn't make it here on time. I go out onto the... What? What, a, what kind of fucked up thing is that to say? I'm, you know, you left the other town early, and... I, it's just really bumming me out. Jesus Christ, you know... Like, we, we left when we got the call from our superiors to say to come here because bad things have happened. I mean, if we got here and nothing had happened yet, we probably wouldn't have gotten that call. And maybe if we don't dwell on who's to blame for what, we'll get to the next place faster. It's like, like, like this is awful what yeah. you do to us. Batman, sorry, sorry. Batman doesn't look up and see the bat sitting and go, I'm sure everything's fine. Yeah. Let's just, I want to go out to the outer perimeter because I feel like if people are going to burn a house, they're going to do it from the outside after they've filled it with accelerant like they did at Waco. Whoa. Texas. Uh, and uh, so I'm just going to, I just want to do a perimeter around the burnt house, like, like knowing where the house was, if I was going to burn a house from the outside, that perimeter, and walk it and look for anything, foreign objects, anything. Uh, it doesn't look like that. It looks like uh, the outside wasn't as burned as the inside. Oh, interesting. So, burnt from the inside, guys. Figured that out. Do you think that it was magic or just regular fire? Hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we see any tracks leading in any direction? Uh, no. No tracks. How far outside of town are we? You're on the edge of town. There's the towns, and then there's the farmland, which is, you know, pretty large swaths of property. And then there's more uh, kind of towny buildings. If one of my skills is knowledge, parentheses, arcana, uh -huh. would that maybe qualify me to know the difference between arson? It could try. You could try, yeah. And, and like, maybe a, fi you know, magical started fire. Yeah. You can tell it's a magically started fire. Can I pinpoint where the magically started fire started? From the inside, like the main room. Okay, what's, can I go to that main room? Is that where the corpses were? Uh, no, not exactly, but it's close. It's like the house was small and you, there's only one main room and it's kind of just a frame, like a structure. So there's not really rooms anymore. So you're just kind of in the middle of it All where right. you found well, it. Well, I go to that spot just because okay. I want to, you know, ash. be thorough. Ash, ash, ash ashes, ash. burnt wood. All right, well. I say, I say we get in our wagon, take the horses into town and go, I mean, like, there's clearly, there's something going on. We got a possessed child across the street. We got clearly either a double homicide or a double suicide here. Do we need to go back across the street to help a possessed child? I think put a pin in him. <laughs> Whatever you say, boss. Yeah, let's get, let's get in the wagon and go into town. What's up? We're, we're taking the wagon into the town. Man, I really can't hear you. Okay. You do that. You take the wagon into the town. Um, you enter. It seems that there's a small hill, and there's just like seven or eight buildings kind of situated around the hill. Most of them just seem like little houses. 
Um, yeah, and then there's a winding path that goes up a, up a hill and towards a wooded area. And right on the edge of the woods, you can see the, the, uh, the, the stone church building. Great. We should probably check in at the church. First. Yes, definitely. Let's go, let's go to the church. All right. At this point, it's late at night. Uh, sorry, sorry. The Priory is a stone monastery made of ancient bricks. The masonry is impressive and expensive, and the front door is old and weathered. On the door, you can see cracks in the wood and nails poking through as if the door has been reinforced re recently. You can hear the sounds of snoring coming just from beyond the door. So people have, like, like nailed themselves inside the church. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I knock on the church door. Uh, 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 hello? Who's there? Who's there? No one should come in at this night. It's too late. Who's coming in? Inquisitors! From the, from the Church of the Silver Flame. We're here to rid your town of evil forces. We'll prove it. Um, hey, if I prove it, you're going to spend a long time uh, re-nailing that door. Why don't you just open it? <laughs> the vague threat. I can't back up. He doesn't respond. Uh, my name is Carlos the Unimaginative. I'm with the Church of the Silver Flame. I, uh, what do you mean prove it? We don't have fax machines. I... I will, uh, hey, so have somebody put their head up to the door that's sick. He opens the door. It just opens, despite all those nails. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? Thanks so much for coming. What's your name? Patchins. Patches? Patchins, with an N. Patchins, what's with the nailed door? Oh, people have been trying to break in or something. I don't know. I just do what I'm told. People? Like, like, Have you experienced that? Nope. I just heard people saying that happened. Are they you told alone? Me to nail up the door. Are you alone in here? No, no. Everyone's sleeping. I'm just watching guard. Not letting anyone in. How many people live here? Uh, four, five. I can't count. <laughs> uh, we should probably wake up your bosses and let them know we're here. Are you sure? I mean, it's late. This is important. There's evil at work in your town. All right, all right. You know what they say, if it's worth nailing a church door shut, it's worth waking people that work in church up. <laughs> all right. He does that. He takes you through the church. Um, yeah, he just does that. Eventually, you're at the door of uh, just a door. You don't know what door it is because they're not labeled. Patchens knocks on the door, and you can hear stirring, stirrings. He's like, sir, sir, they're here. The Inquisitors are here. And you can hear just kind of a mumbling and then a, like a, a fumbling. And some, an old-looking an old -looking guy comes up. He looks gross. He's like a fat, gross old man. He's wearing a, uh, one of those really long nightcaps. And he comes up, and he's like, oh, this is, uh, what, is this? What, what is this? What's the deal? Uh, we're inquisitors from the Silver Flame Church. I'm Carlos. This is Chad. This is Diarrhea Jr. You can call him DJ. How do we know we can trust you? Uh, uh, we will now... Can't you see by... What, what, dom, what, what denomination is this church? The Church of the Silver Flame, of oh, course. We, 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 show that we show him our Silver Flame emblems that we wear. Oh, yeah, this. holy symbol. He looks at him for, like, way too long and is really suspicious of him, but eventually he's like, okay... All right, whatever. You guys having some kind of problem trusting people that, you, that look like people you should trust? Yeah, everyone's gone evil. Sin has taken root in this town, and it's rising up all over the place. We don't know where to turn and who to trust. It's a terrible situation. We don't even know to trust you. And how do we trust you? Exactly. That's the problem I'm having. Okay. All right, I, I turn my back to him and hold my arms out to the side, and I just fall back toward him. Uh, he catches you. That's, I like it. That's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> now I'll do it. He's holding Jeff still. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ow. You I, just, I, I, catch, I catch Carlos. All right, well, then that's fine. It's all fine. Everyone wins. See, we like to do that everywhere we go, just to show you, no matter how big your problem is, it's not as big as you think. That follows perfectly. 
Uh, can you can you tell us what's, what what has happened exactly to all your like why why are you hiding in here? We don't know exactly. We just know that evil is loose. Evil spirits are messing with people and causing evil. We think the sinners are sinning, and God has taken His wrath out on us. All well, right, we're, we're, we're here to we're here to fix that because we eat evil for breakfast and we shit uh, goodness. Purge the unclean. Cleanse our village. Do you um, have any tips on how to do that? Nope. Yeah, that's your job. You're the experts, right? Yeah, but we, we should, I mean, can you take us from the moment when things were normal by your definition to when they started to get bad? Take hmm. us back as far as you can. I don't know. It just seems like uh, it all started when Tom, Tom was getting weird. It seems his kid came down with some sickness, and ever since then, Weird shit's been going down. His kid died. We don't know if it was a punishment for his evil. Archer? Yeah. The fir that was the first kid. Yep. Didn't he have two kids? Yep. Yeah, was... Cliff, the one that you punched. <laughs> now, are you saying that, that the father, Tom, is, is evil? Like, he, he, you don't trust him? I don't know, but he's been acting all fucked up like an evil person would. Oh. We were, we were punching the wrong guy. <laughs> We should have been punching the dad, not, not the son. Well, that's what, yeah, that's what you say every time you go to a movie theater, you know? Like, like how could a kid be to blame? But at the same time, he was the one screaming. Right. <laughs> uh, wow, I didn't know, I, you know, I, to use language that I shouldn't be able to use, I thought that was more of a side quest when we came into the town. <laughs> Turns out that was the A story. Well, maybe, maybe not, but he's, there's evil... We, we, we just know going forward that we, don't, we can't trust everybody that we meet. Right. Are there other possessed people? What? Are there other possessed people? What are you talking about? Possession? That's ghosts, right? Yeah. Yeah, we okay. met a kid that had a ghost, an evil ghost inside him, and it came out and then went back in. Like, he was possessed by a... What the okay. fuck are you talking about? Tom's child, Cliff, has a ghost inside him. We saw it. I knew it! He's evil! He must be a fucking cultist! Who, Tom? Yeah! Oh, shit. Devil worshippers, all of them! With a name like Fell, that like means you're from hell, I think. We never asked for his, long, his last name. Well, I know his last name because he's a person in my village. Tom Fell? Oh, yeah. Oh, like he fell from grace? I don't know. Well, he would, you, your last name doesn't say whether you're evil. That doesn't make sense. You're born with your last name. You're a non-believer. Shut up with your heresy. All right. Sidebar about this guy. It's a, if see, we go up, like, does this guy want us to murder a family? What if he's the bad guy? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, fake news. Do, do, do sense motive on him, Carlos. Sense motive on this, on this dude. What, what's your name, old man? Uh, what is my name? Two seconds. Sense motive. Um, you do a sense motive. Oh, man. He's, he's obviously freaking out. He's like a paranoid man who's terrified, like as if he's, he's thinking the world's gonna fall on his shoulders. And everything he does is motivated by fear. My name is Phil Stogenwaller. Phil Stogenwaller. Alright, Phil, well you're clearly not in your right mind, so sit down. And you're gonna tell us everything. Would you be in your right mind if demons and whatever people were showing up talking about ghosts? It's fucked up. Yeah, so now empty your not right mind so that people with righter minds can take in your information, digest it, and go do more right shit than you've done. That Tom is a real piece of shit. He's coming knocking on my church door asking for help. We're trying to deal with evil. We can't be helping people. He's here all over the place. We had to lock our doors and bolt him so he wouldn't be coming in. It's all Are, fucked up. Let's go back and talk to Tom. Tom sounds like a victim with a sick kid. In a corrupt society. I mean, what, what else were you dealing with that you thought Tom wasn't a priority? People are all fucked up. It's evil. Evil's in the town and everyone's you, being... You're fucked up. Look at you. You're, you're fucked, fucked up. up. You're fucked up. You're fucked up. You're fucked up. Maybe we both have a lot to learn. <laughs> Do you I have mean, anything to give us on our, on our, on our quest here? I got, um, I got some holy water. Oh, can, I, can I see it? Can I see it? What? Like, can I see holy water? I don't yeah, think you yeah. should hold it after what I heard happened last time. Yeah, I think somebody else should hold the holy water. Just let me try something. 
Okay. Holy water on you, on him. No. Ah, I'm wet. <laughs> Why? Why did you waste our holy you, water? Keep, do, you, do you have any more holy water? I hope that wasn't all of it. Are you gonna just fucking throw it on me? No, no. This would be a terrible I, decision I'm gonna to keep do it, anything for I'm you. I'm gonna keep it and use it on people and in a safe manner. And not, and not keep wasting all of our precious resources. Well, right. I'm gonna well, leave yeah, the room can... and tell you where it is. So where is it? It's right here, and then he leaves. All right. I follow him. All right, he goes back to bed. I stand at the foot of his bed and stare at him. Don't throw anything at me. I won't. I pick up the holy water. It's on the, it's water. Oh, well, yeah, okay, you fill up a bottle or something. Yeah, I'll fill up my, one of my three glass jars. <laughs> Great. I, 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 fill up, I fill up a water skin full of holy water as well. All right. I'll fill up everything I have. You're fill. at the bed door. I'll, I'll, I, I, for, I have my fear of being left out. I follow that to the holy water. Ha! All right. Was that him that. Yeah. sleeping? All right. Fine. I fill up my holy water containers. You all got all the holy water. Do you, do you want to you want to go back and try this holy water on Tom, the, the evil dad, or do you want to press forward and see if there's bigger fish to fry? Okay, but what what we, if it, that doesn't work? What if we go back to Tom's house and it does nothing? Like we we just we're we're kind of out of our element here. Okay, we, well, we won't know if we don't try. Well, let, let, let's let's at least go out and, and check out these other buildings around here and just kind of investigate the town a little bit. So what? I I, I just can't hear Jeff for whatever reason. All right, we're gonna right. investigate the town. All right, you go back into the town. There's a, there's a hill. Well, wait, it's nighttime? You're going in the nighttime? Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, there's a hill. You see a bunch of houses that seem to be asleep. Someone should take a sh shit in the street or something so we can end <laughs> the... Is, is, is there like a town bell or anything like that? Like, you look for a town bell and find none. Do you really want me to take a shit in the street? Well, it might make a good place to end the adventure, because I don't know how to end things. You want him to end it by taking a shit in the street? Is just, it, I, what, 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 what is that designed to accomplish? I don't know. Which, well, how else do you end a D&D &D chapter, you know? Well, some... we could go back and maybe save the kid with holy water. Okay, well, we, get, we, we have seven minutes, so okay, let's do it. I could always come back and take a shit. I'll be really embarrassed okay. about it, but... All right. Let's go, let's go back to Tom's house, okay. All right. <laughs> you do that. I knock on the door. Tom, wake up. All right, it takes a while, but eventually you hear someone shout out, what, what do you want? Get away from my house. I dropped, uh, I, I dropped uh, my keys. Uh, I, I, I think my keys are here somewhere. I don't care about that. I, 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 I need you, these are important keys. I need these keys to help uh, clear, clear town of evil. Do you think I don't have a memory? Like, this is insane that I'd let you back into my house at three in the morning after what is transpired. I cast firebolts and burn his door down. Jesus. All right, it starts burning. Oh, fuck. Now it's you're not part of instant. the problem. I, 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 I take out my water skin and try to put out the fire. <laughs> okay, you do that. I'm gonna go around back. All right. Wait, wait, did he put the fire out before it accomplished what I wanted was burning the door down? Yeah, well, it is still burning, but it's being dampened, like it's starting to be extinguished. All right, I, I, I kick the door in. All right, what's your strength? Strength is 10. Nope. Shit. You don't kick it in. You kick it with your little gnome foot. <laughs> DJ, kick the door. You're big and strong. No, no. Uh, oh, little, well, Dan was going around back. What were you doing, Dan? I'm going around back because I saw that documentary about Waco, and I know that that's where the innocent cultists will try to run out of. And I want to be able to possibly pick them off with I, automatic gunfire. Okay, so if I'm the ATF or FBI, but not really. Okay, commentary over. Tell it to your '90s therapist. All right, you're stationed there behind the well, door. Well, I'm going, no, I'm actually going to the back door. I'm actually going to, is there a back door? Okay, can I, I try to open it. It's, it's locked. locked. I, I kick it. <laughs> What's your strength bonus? I, I, oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, hold on. It's coming up. My strength is 12. My ability modifier is plus one. You don't kick it on. Human size I, kick. I, I, I try to talk to Tom 
Uh, hey, Tom, I'm, I'm just another guy. I wasn't here earlier. My name's DJ, and, and I have this holy water. I really, I, if you let me in, I, I think I could help your child. How convincing do you think that was? <laughs> I mean, you've got no other options. I, I'm with these two guys. I know they didn't do a great job, but that's why they brought me here. Cause... Kick his door in, DJ. You're strong. Kick it in. Fuck I, this guy. Fuck him. I don't want to... I don't want to resort to violence, but I am strong enough to kick this door down. It's just a door. <laughs> it's not violence. It's just a door. It's Please, an... just let me in and let me help your child. No, fuck you. Kick the fucking door in. All right, I'm going to kick the door in. <laughs> this is a great tactic. I mean, we're great. All right, you also don't kick the door in. Oh, okay, all right. You My... hear a window open above you, and a bunch of uh, objects start raining down on your heads. <laughs> Rocks, mostly. All right, you all get hit by rocks. Shit. All of us. I... All right, you each take six damage what? as heavy rocks are hurled from the second story window onto your heads. Well, I'm in the back there in the front. Right, not you then. Sorry, I, did, I forgot about that. I'm great at this Woo! game. We uh, should do a wrap. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a cliffhanger a right there. We'll do a cliffhanger, but Dan, kick it. Finish it off, Harmon. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been present at Mountain View, Palo Alto, St. Jonas, Jonestown, California, somewhere within an hour of Los Angeles by Plains Idiot Festival, spelled with any number of ones and zeros, O's, and capital I's, and Chris Hardwick. Got a wick that's hard, gonna fuck your mama so hard, my dick is a yard. The football field couldn't slow it down. I put your mama up, I put your mama down. I put my dick in her butt, I put my dick in her eye. I said hello, then I said hi. It was redundant. Dance guy, get up here. It was a greeting. Oh shit, get up I got a stage. meeting with an alien, with an orange man with fiberglass spray paint around his hands and head. And it's some combination of references. Here he comes, security's tight, I feel safer already when I go out tonight. He could be ISIS, he could be Al-Qaeda. We don't care, I'll eat a tomato. Fresh grow, yeah. My name is H-A-R-M-O-N. Your name is again. Together again, we're gonna do this just like kid and play. <laughs> That's where you put your foot in it. <laughs> he's, he's too young to know kid play. <laughs> oh, I gotta be. Yo, my name is Morgan, and I'm sitting here, and I'm not in Oregon, hanging out with Dan Harmon. He's my friend, and I love it. I'm gonna hang out, remember it. Forever, because I love the weather. He is, we belong together. Together. <laughs> we belong together. Thank All you right. for coming to Harmon Town, Thank everybody. You. Thank you so much. What's your name again, sir? What's your name? I'm Morgan. It's Morgan, everybody. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody here on sound. Thank you, Carter, back there on the EDM lights. <laughs> Steve Levy, everybody. Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your idiot fest, everybody. Now get these chairs out of here. You're going to dance in this tent. There's dancing in this tent. I think. I think that's what's next. Get any of that? It's a good show!